Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do my uh, review on the Vero Engineering Axon. Now, pardon the lighting in here, I'm on a grocery run, and um, well, I have time to get it done. It's getting a little dark. I had to eat some Taco Bell first. Uh, I'm a Chalupa guy. What's your favorite meal at Taco Bell? I love the Supreme Beef um, Chalupas with some fire sauce. No tomato. That's my jam right there. But anyway, the Vero Engineering Axon. This is a really sweet knife, guys. I mentioned in my mini impulse review that um, I've kind of been on a Vero kick. I bought that one. And then that started a family of Vero knives. I bought this after that. Um, I bought a full-size Impulse and a Synapse XL. Those are both on the way, and I have a Fulcrum. So I'm pretty much stacking them all uh, if I can. So I'm looking for a Gen 2 Synapse when they uh, finally drop. Um, excuse me. So <clears throat> this is a really interesting knife because I want to say that when it first came out, and there was the pre-order for it. I thought it was super ugly. Um, I just didn't jive with the design with this uh, sheep's foot blade um, and just the full micarta handles. Uh, it just seemed, I don't know. I, I wasn't jiving with it and my buddy Jake Bearded Gear was raving about it. And I just was like, ew, it's ugly. Like, you know, I was being a two year old and um, he got it in hand and I still was kind of like, eh. And then he told me it has slots on both sides. Somehow I missed that. And it's a liner lock. So as a lefty, this knife is probably the best Vero you can get because you can get your finger in there and Spidey flick it as a lefty. You can easily disengage the lock. You don't have any uh, lock bar tension issues. So I, I then was like, oh crap, you know? And then I got the mini impulse and was blown away by that. So I basically was like, I gotta get an Axon. And I hunted one down, I paid 450 for this, guys. Secondary pricing on these is incredible. Um, these were like 250 new, I think, this knife. And um, I, I'm aware that I overpaid for it, but I wanted one and somebody was offering one in a spec that I liked. This is the black micarta handles with the belt satin on the blade. Um, so. You know, the way I look at it, guys, is if I want something bad enough and I see the value in it, I'll overpay. And then when I sell it, I won't go crazy. You know, I might try to get my money out of it if somebody will pay it. Um, I'm not going to ever jack up prices. Um, I'll probably take a loss on it and call it a renter's fee. But um, I think I'm going to keep this. So I've toyed with selling it a few times already because of a couple of gripes I have. Um, but the more I carry it, the more I want to keep it. So it's kind of funny, right? Like when it's sitting in the case and I'm not carrying it, that's when I'm like, oh, maybe I'll sell it. But then I put it back in my pocket to be like, let's see how it goes. And then at the end of that day, I'm like, oh boy, I got to keep this. So, uh, you know, that it, it's, it's a weird one, guys. Um, but let's just start off here with the aesthetics. You have the M390 sheep's foot blade here, which is absolutely stunning. Now that I have it in hand, I love the look of this thing. It looks like a freaking pterodactyl to me. Um, even more so when it's like half closed, it looks like a Jurassic Park pterodactyl. Um, and then you have the, the V slot or spot, whatever they call it on both sides of the blade. Um, and then you have these black micarta black denim micarta maybe handles with the titanium backspacer uh pretty big one actually uh you have a titanium deep, uh, not deep carry titanium pocket clip here standard vero pocket clip titanium hardware i did go ahead and take this apart and put skiff bearings in it um it was already super drop shut uh i don't think i really made it better but um i definitely didn't make it worse so it basically just glides down and uh oh god i thought that cop was coming after me for uh <laughs> for filming in my truck um it looks like he's pulling a guy over through the drive-thru so whoo my heart was pounding guys um anyway it happens to me every time i see a cop 
and their lights because, well, I wasn't the greatest kid, all right? Um, I've been arrested a few times and, uh, whew, all right, I'm good. So, yeah, uh, aesthetically, really cool. Materials-wise, really, really cool. Um, and it's just an, it's just a cool looking knife. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. Sorry. I got blown off there or knocked off track a little bit there. Um, so ergonomically, this knife is really cool. Um, in this back kind of grip, you have this swell here and then out and it is very comfortable in hand. Um, and then you can go forward onto this kind of choil here. Uh, and that feels really, really good. And that's basically the way I hold these knives is like this. And um, I take it out of pocket, I flip it open and my hand lands just like this. And I love that. Um, I can do any kind of cutting I need to and um, it works great. So ergos are good on this one. Better than my mini impulse, I would say. Um, action. So action is ridiculous on this knife. Um, you know, you could do the spidey flick and that's basically the way I open it. You can do a thumb flick, but you know, that V spot is not really geared towards that. And then you have jimping up here to do a uh, front flip, which I do occasionally do that because it's kind of fun to switch it up, you know? Um, but I mainly use the middle finger flick like that. And one of the gripes I have with this knife is that I feel like the detent is just a little bit too light. Um, you see, I can shake it out like that. I didn't try very hard um, and it shoots right out. Now I know that the detent was dialed that way for the, um, the front flipper. So you can do this um, because if you have it too strong, then you're not gonna be able to get it out with the front roll, you know what I mean? And some people like to do that kind of front roll. I can't do it because I don't have a clip to grab left-handed, but you can kind of roll it out like this and then lock it up. Um, but most people I would assume just kind of do the front flip. And I really do enjoy doing that, but that is why the detent is so light. And I, I, I don't like light detents, guys. Uh, and that's been probably the main reason I've contemplated selling this or trading it um you see there how it didn't come out all the way um yeah that's my biggest gripe the closing action is ridiculous um it is butter even before the skiff bearings um it's just super drop shutty um there is kind of a minimal access to the lock bar here now because i'm left-handed it doesn't really matter because i just get my thumb in there slide it over and i'm good but right-handed, actually, it's a little bit cramped to get in there and get the lock bar over. Um, that is a gripe a lot of people have with this one. But I don't really find it an issue. Um, then there's the clip, guys. So uh, carry on this one, once it's in your pocket, it carries well. Um, and if you have thinner pants, it fits in and out pretty easily. But there's like no clearance on this clip. Um, and I really, if I wear anything but like super thin pocketed jeans, this thing gets stuck and I have to like yank it out of my pocket and then going in, I have to like shove it down. Uh, and it's kind of annoying to be honest. I really wish there was just a tiny bit more clearance here. I have the same issue with my mini impulse, but on that one, it's there, there is a little more clearance. So I've heard from different people. I've heard varying things. So I think it just depends on the on the example. Like some axons are great. Some mini impulses are good. Some are super tight like this. Um, so I think that's just something that uh, Vero needs to work on. And I mean, that's really the biggest gripe I have with any of their knives is the clip. Everything else is just like absolutely phenomenal. Um, this belt satin, is absolutely stunning. Um, I love this belt satin. It reminds me a lot of a Riot belt satin, um, but it's a little less um, chalky. <laughs> uh, that's what I call it. It holds prints well. Uh, well, it holds prints, and um, it just has this kind of layer of like chalk on it. That's what. It's my best way of explaining it. Um, but yeah, so the uh, blade is fantastic. The grind is very well done. It comes down to a pretty thin edge on this full flat grind. Um, it goes through 
paper, cardboard, packaging, goes through anything like butter. You have this tip up here to get into things easily. I like that. Um, some sheep's foot blades don't have a very good tip, but this one is actually very, uh, very good. It's excellent. And you can kind of get up on it with a pinch grip and cut out like printing labels and stuff like that or shipping labels. Um, so I'm really enjoying the blade. Uh, the fit and finish is fantastic on this knife. I haven't noticed any issues at all. Um, everything is kind of smooth and chamfered and um, just it's very well done. The centering on this one is dead nuts. Um, so excellent, excellent example here. And I really, really love it, guys. Sorry, I'm like making sure cops aren't coming for me. <laughs> um, value. So again, for the retail price, this is a ridiculous knife. Um, it is well worth that 250 or whatever. Um, it's worth probably more than that. Um, to me, it is worth the 450 I paid for it. I absolutely love this knife now. Um, it's not going anywhere. It will definitely be in my collection for the foreseeable future. Um, and one last little nitpick I want to mention is it doesn't make cool sounds. Now, I know that's kind of stupid, and a lot of people aren't going to care about that at all. Excuse me. Um, but it doesn't make cool sounds. You ready? It just kind of like thuds open. You know, if I really chuck it out with my middle finger, which I don't usually do that, you know, it makes a better thwack, but normally it does this. You know, eh, whatever. And then the close, just a little thud. So I just wish it made more like clicky clack sounds. Um, I'd like to try a CF one or a G10 one just to hear the difference. Um, you know, like titanium sounds really good and like milled titanium knives um, really have like good good sounds on them. Um, but that's a really minor nitpick and a personal thing. Um, so overall, this knife is fantastic. Can I recommend it to lefties? Yes, 100%. Can I recommend it to righties? Yeah, of course. But you just have to know that the lock bar uh, access issue is a little bit of a thing. Um, and that's really it. So, uh, I absolutely love this knife guys. I can't wait to get more Vero products in and, um, yeah. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.